Kyle Dittman here, Bullion RV, Duluth, Minnesota. Today I get to share with you a 2023 Winnebago 2108 FBS. We're ramping up for our uh, indoor show here, our open house before the season starts. So this one's tucked in tight in the back corner. So we're gonna kind of show you the best we can. We'll get you on the outside, inside. We'll see what you think. Write my number down early. If you have any questions, it's 218-740-4964. Reach out to me with a call, shoot me a text. Anything like that will kind of help you out. So uh, we'll get started on this one. A couple new things on the graphics on the outside, colors on the inside. So I'm kind of go over that. And like I said, just write them down. If you got any questions, let me know. Um, so we're going to start right up front. Got a really nice fiberglass front cap. And if you're going to see, this is where kind of the new graphics, new decals are coming in right here. Kind of neat, kind of look like almost like a lake. Kind of showing you a different depth of the water or something like that is kind of what it, this new graphic reminds me of here it's kind of neat um a couple cool things winnebago does too with their frame they're driving it through the front here give you a lot of extra supports driving it through the front give you you know support here support on the sides just something extra that winnebago does kind of gives you that peace of mind and extra stability when you are going down the road um maybe through a little back country you have the big rugged tires so we'll get over to there um, here at Bullion, we're going to fill your propane tanks for you. We're going to hit you with a brand new battery. The battery box is going to live up here. Um, you got your rock guard right here. A couple cool features, slam latch baggage doors. I want you to take a look at the thickness on there since your bed's up front. And you get the pass through here. You got this really thick door. It's insulated to keep the heat inside. Um, really nice. So just slam latch shut. No more of those little clips. Held up by magnets. Super slick there. These are electric stabilizers, so just push a button and drop those down. So you're gonna have the front and back with those. Also up in the front storage compartment, you're gonna see the solar controller right up in the front. This does have 190 watts of solar on the roof, which is gonna be great for you. Um, also back there, you can see that little black piece on the back of the storage, just gonna be your battery um, on and off switch the disconnect. So really nice feature there. I can't get the awning all the way out, but as you can see, the awning runs almost the whole length of the camper. You get a great LED light that runs under it. Also, the door is not obstructed by the awning, which is great. So you don't have to worry about catching the door on the awning if you're putting it in. Um, you also are on a friction hinge door here. So this is rated up to about 20, 20 miles an hour of wind. So it's not gonna slam for you wherever you wanna just leave it, it just will stay. No more of that plastic clip that the first time the kids run by, I try to shut it, it's breaking off. So as you can see, you can shut it really hard and it doesn't slam. So that's really great there. You know, you got your screen door, so you can leave that open. A little bug guard that kind of closes up too. So really nice features there. Um, these are going to be your Goodyear Wrangler tires. Like I said, a little more off-road here, aluminum rims. Um, they give you uh, extra protection. If you did have a blow, there's extra protection here. That's not going to blast through the camper, which is really awesome. Um, the back is really tight, but I kind of want to touch base on that again. Here is your power extenders. You're going to have a spare tire on the back. Let me kind of get out of the way. We'll trade spots of chili here. So you have a spare tire in the back, you got a ladder on the back to get to the roof. You also have a spot for a prep for a backup camera, which is back there as well. Um, also on the back, Winnebago kind of gives you for your reverse lights, um, they throw the white light in there. So just like your vehicles, when you throw your camper in reverse and you're backing up those white lights, you know, kind of universal. You got a lot of people at the campground, they might even run over and help you out, which is kind of neat, um, making friends right away. So also on the front here, you got a spot if you wanted to put like a TV backer or anything out front. You got your appropriate power out here. So if you want waffle makers, like I said, TV, you know, anything out here, cable, you got a spray port, wash things off. So all that stuff conveniently located right in here. Um, outdoor speakers, JBL speakers on this unit. So um, if you know anything about audio, the JBL is a nice um, upgrade audio speaker. So really good quality sound on that as well. Uh, Asdell on board, you got Asdell on the wall, which makes it a little lighter, a little more durable. It is an eco-friendly product. It's not gonna get any rot, mold, mildew, soak in any water if anything were to happen. So um, really nice product there. Also a sound variant. So when you're inside the camper, if people are a little noisier, it's gonna help keep it a little quieter in there for you too. So let's pop in and see what the inside looks like. So if you guys have been shopping, looking around, the 23 is a little different than the 22. You can see it's a little brighter, a little lighter wood in here, uh, a little lighter upholstery in here as well. 
I like the cabinets. They've kind of switched to this like greenish gray. Um, I mean, I, I, I really like it. I think it's kind of neat, kind of sets it apart, kind of gives you that, here's my kitchen, here's my dining, here's my bed, you know, kind of splits out all the colors. So that's really nice. So um, let's kind of turn around, we'll start right up front. A nice full-size queen bed up front. We like to call it the hers and hers wardrobe on either side of the bed. Um, that's gonna be really nice. As you can see, also you got these like little nightstands on the side of the bed. You're gonna have power and USB over there on the one side plugins on the top so you kind of got like a little bookshelf style so you can tuck some devices and things up there for you opposing windows you get some really nice cross uh breeze this is ducted for ac throughout the whole camper and it's a nice small camper so it'll cool down really fast but if you like the nice fresh air you can open those up it does have a nice privacy curtain um so if you do have any gas you can kind of shut that down up under the bed this would be a great place for some extra storage. Really nice spot for that there. Pop that down. Um, the dinette. I really like the dinette. It's super multifunction. Um, great to sit in here. You can fit, you know, four adults on here comfortably. If you're not too tall, and this is a little short, you gotta step up, but I'm about five nine, five, you know, five nine on a good day. Um, wear the right shoes so you can see i'm pretty close so if you're a little taller you know it might be a tight squeeze but you know we can always bring in a chair and set you down here if you're the taller guy um one thing i like about these tables which are great if you want to kind of swing under here you can see there's no more poles that you're going to have to take out put in do that you just kind of got this notch you just flip this you just Tail pushes down really easy. I'll move these cushions, drop them down, turn that into a bed. Super slick, super easy. No more finding the post, making sure they're good, finding the holes, standing it up. They're kind of not as sturdy as you know most of them either. And then to put the bed up, just bring it up, flip this switch over, lock it in play, and it's back to the dining table, which is awesome. Super easy, like I said, super convenient. You can sleep, you know, one, two adults on here if they're they want to get close and stay warm um you know one adult really comfortably two small children so essentially this camper could sleep four people which is great up under the dinette as well is you're going to get storage on both sides so really nice good storage down there never can have too much storage especially in a smaller camper so that's gonna be great um, here in the kitchen you got a window out looking to the fire you got the one big basin farm style stainless steel sink with the covers to kind of give you the extra space. These can dual purpose as cutting boards as well if that's something that you want to do. You also got the pull down faucet. You can turn that out of your way. So kind of just like your house. Um, a lot of good pull out drawers. Like I said, really solid, really good construction here from Winnebago. Really like that. Another good storage. Got this kind of this access panel taken off right now, but kind of put that back as you can see another good storage there uh people are gonna like it hate it well i like it when a bagel has taken away the oven not a lot of people use an oven so they're going to give you a lot big a really big storage drawer instead um and then instead of the oven they give you a convection microwave i guess the way i see it is if you're going to have a microwave might as well be a convection microwave give me more storage that way i can do, do two things in there i'm usually going to cook at the campfire outside anyway um, at the grill but if i need to come inside i can do that stuff in here Three burner cooktop, really nice cast iron kind of top here. Three burner cooktop there. And then the top of it, you know, the glass top kind of turns into a nice backsplash too. Um, choo -choo -choo. Entertainment, like I said, JBL sound system, Bluetooth, uh, AM, FM, indoor, outdoor speakers there. You got your TV, you got a quick connect. So you got your, you know, the newer cell phones, you can kind of just pop it on there wireless charger you don't got to worry about it nobody's losing the cord nobody's fighting over it um, that's going to be really nice for you there too on the side we'll kind of switch again another little storage drawer maybe tuck your games in there movies whatever you have going on 12 volt refrigerator with the solar panel this thing is going to run what i like about this i'm not cutting holes in your camper to vent out the gas electric it's a lot bigger it's a lot deeper it's a lot more efficient um when i when you plug into the truck going down the road it's running so a lot of really great benefits between behind the new fridges um and like i said with those solar panels on the roof that's really going to help 
um, kind of combat the usage of the new 12 volt fridges. So that's great there. Um, scoot into the bathroom. I'll kind of stand in the shower. Um, like I said, I'm a shorter guy, so it really doesn't make a big difference, but you do have this little sky dome if you need a little more head space there. Um, like I said, but if you're out camping, really, who showers a whole lot out camping in one of these little things, um, more or less just pop in here, spray down, kind of feel feel refreshed. Um, you got a really nice extra wardrobe storage back here as well. So towels, hanging clothes, anything extra that you have swinging back here. AC is ducted back here. You got a power fan in here to get out the moisture. A really nice stainless steel sink. Well, yeah, stainless steel sink in the corner there. Um, and then the lights, another small little storage drawer. So wherever they can find it, they'll give it to you. Pocket door in the bathroom to keep it out of the way. Um, and I think there's a little medicine cabinet. There's a little medicine cabinet in here as well. Um, even small things like the towel rack back here. It's nice and convenient that it's there already in the backer. Um, but that is kind of the, the overlook of the new 2023. Uh, 2108 FBS. Like I said, our open house is starting here in a month. We're getting ready here at Bullion RV. If you have any questions about anything, you want to come down and see me, set up an appointment to kind of look at stuff. Again, my name is Kyle here at 218-740-4964. Give me a call. Let me know I can help. Take care.